Welcome to the Windows Club. If modern setup host is causing high CPU usage in your Windows computer, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video. I'll guide you through the resolutions. The first solution is to close the process using the Task Manager. Search for Task Manager in the Windows search bar and click on this option to open the application. After this, Scroll through the list to find the modern setup host process and right click on it and select end task. I don't have the task open but you would have. The next solution is to disable windows update service temporarily. For this, press the windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type the command services.msc and hit enter to open the service manager window. Now in the service manager window. Scroll down to the Windows Update process, right click on it and select Properties, change the Startup Type to Disabled and then click on Apply and finally on OK. The next solution would be to clear the contents of the Software Distribution folder. Go to this associated article here, which is in point 3 in the original article. Copy the commands mentioned here. Then. Search for command prompt in the Windows search bar and click on Run as Administrator to open the elevated command prompt window. Paste all of these commands here one by one and hit enter after each command. After the last command, the software distribution folder would be renamed. The next solution would be to troubleshoot in the clean boot state. To do so, press the Windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type the command msconfig and hit enter. This will open the system configuration window. Go to the services tab. Check the box associated with hide all Microsoft services. If any other box is checked, please click on disable all. Then click on apply and finally on ok and eventually click on restart to reboot the system in the clean boot state. Lastly, you can consider running the windows update troubleshooter. Right click on the start button and select settings. In the settings window, go to the system tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, scroll down to troubleshoot. Now click on other troubleshooters. Then finally click on run corresponding to the windows update troubleshooter. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the windows club. Scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.